Hi guys and welcome to another episode. What we have here is the Cambridge Z88 um, from 1987. It's been a while since I, oh, I was thinking um, I should do something to um, get this fellow uh, to omit the world, um, to make it communicate with um, a modern PC. Um, and I was thinking of building a um, serial cable because it uh, has a serial a connector on the side that was the only uh, way uh, this machine could communicate uh, back in 87 uh, this machine has a lot of good features um, it was the iPad of the 80s if you will so you can find this uh, terminal mode which we're going to be using uh, with this serial uh, connector on the right side to uh, get it connected with um, classic um, serial cable and a classic uh, modern PC uh, via this cable we're gonna build and um, it was um, a self-contained machine uh, very contemporary for 1987 and um, uh, as I said uh, it could uh, be described as the iPad of uh, the 80s uh, calendar alarm spreadsheet um, uh, word processor, uh, BBC basic uh, embedded, a diary of course and uh, you could um, set up your own printing editor, you could uh, transfer files and you can you could modify files to be uh, used um, with uh, other uh, PC based uh, word processors and um, uh, spreadsheets um, back then like the Lotus 1, 2, 3 or so, something like that. Uh, so this experiment has always been in my mind but I I kept uh, postponing this um, until this day. And so here is the diagram I'm going to follow. Uh, there are many diagrams over the web you can find. Not every diagram is correct but I found this one um, recently and I'm going to follow. This upper part is uh, actually the 9 pin from the Z88 to uh, 25 pin uh, on the PC and I'm going to follow this first um, diagram and probably uh, in the future I'm gonna follow the other diagram uh, down below so I can create another cable uh, which is going to be 9 to 9 pin but of course we can use uh, adapters to help us through and at this point I'm going to skip uh, soldering again as the diagram uh, is very self-explanatory I believe and at this point I'm gonna be testing the connection since the cable is ready already connected uh, to the PC and the other side onto the Z88 and the Z88 now is working on this terminal mode and I typed a message so that I can test um, if the message can go across the cable uh, onto party um, this is the cable uh, and this is the, gen the gender changer and then uh, the adapter um, in order to get it connected to 9-pin again and at the back of the computer uh, the computer has a uh, party on COM1 uh, and this is the message I try to uh, type and check um, that the connection is actually working so this one uh, has been written on to the Z88 and came up on the other side onto the PC so I guess uh, the, the cable uh, is working fine I tried to make it short um, you might not need a gender, uh, gender changer or uh, an adapter at all uh, but in this case I uh, needed to uh, put both the gender changer and um, the adapter from 25 to 9 pins and this um, connection the serial connection onto the Z88 is marked with an arrow I'll show you later why um, so you can only put it this way and again in order to check uh, if the communication is possible between the PC and the Z88 we need to go to the uh, terminal uh, mode 
uh, on the C88 and start typing some text or commands or whatever. Next thing to do is to go to another computer which has the PC Plus or Procom Plus as a terminal uh, communication software from the 80s and um, I'm going to test um, in real time uh, the way they used to do it using some kind of terminal program like this back then and um, I should also try to uh, move files around which is the second thing I want to test today we have the Procom Plus uh, menu actually we're going to be working with send files um, option chat mode uh, option just because we want to test that the, uh, there is a bi-directional communication between the two computers and now this one is the host for now and it is in waiting state so by the time I connect the Z88 uh, cable it will be active and uh, using uh, control S uh, we can modify settings for the what we want to uh, experiment today uh, we just need uh, to put um, COM1 speed uh, 9600 data bits 8 stop bits 1 parity none uh, flow control uh, X on X off is um, something that uh, is not going to bother Z88 at all uh, and then we're done and uh, let's go back to start communicating and so back to our console we have the remote uh, part um, for the Z88 and the local part the local console down here so we can start uh, placing uh, again we are in chat mode so that means bidirectional communication and I guess we can type something like a test a symbol uh, test uh, text to be sent to the other side and uh, uh, confirm the uh, and verify the uh, bidirectional communication so let's check the Z88 now and yeah I guess we have the test uh, message uh, sent to uh, the Z88 just right sorry for the light but I guess now it's it looks better so we have the test message already sent so now I'm going to send a couple of uh, back and forth messages between the computers uh, just to double check that everything is working fine so C88 answers back and now another message from the PC as it goes thank you for the handshake uh, <laughs> as a reply to uh, the Z88 and I guess yeah we have uh, some great uh, we have uh, yeah indeed uh, some great communication between the computers and I guess now it's time after all these messages uh, it is time for us to check uh, if we can send over an ASCII file a text file from the PC to the Z88 and so it is time for us to select uh, the upload protocol and in this case in our case here we have to select uh, ASCII transfer uh, which is option 4 I have created a little message inside this PC plus text file which is inside the existing PC plus directory and so much for the sender now we have to move to the receiver the recipient of this message of this file uh, and we have to go to import export uh, application which is built in and there we can find the option receive uh, R we have to type R enter uh, so we can tell the Z88 that it's something to be received and uh, we can start um, downloading uh, the file at the end of the reception there's always end of file which uh, hopefully means that our Z88 has um, received the file completely uh, and successfully and I guess now we can move to the word processor the pipe dream and check uh, the text that was uh, in this file test on a Z88 uh, I have al already tested the uh, um, loaded and tested the output so there is a menu on the left uh, load um, fi from files you can load uh, you give the name of the file like PC plus 
.txt as it was uh, received by the computer and then the pipe dream opens the text file and shows the message that we've been uh, waiting to see uh, which is test on Z88 and um, I guess we have successfully uh, transferred uh, a text file already through the cable we have uh, um, fixed uh, today so the Z88 gets out to the world so now we can uh, get back to our cable and as promised I'm gonna tell you why I have marked the, the cable uh, this um, plastic case with the, uh, this arrow because the if you use this kind of uh, plastic case it has two lips two uh, plastic lips to hold the uh, connector uh, in place but the upper lip or the upper part should be snapped uh, otherwise it wouldn't fit the, the Z88 so the this part should stay but this part should be snapped somehow or cut and straight it up and uh, then it can line up with the connector on the uh, Z88 and it should fit just firmly and fine because mechanically uh, the typical serial uh, screws on the sides cannot be supported uh, on the Z88 so that's why we need to mark it somehow this is a good practice so you know exactly how it should get connected now back in the day the Amstrad NC100 was the competitor to the Z88 um, which used to have decent <laughs> parallel and serial ports but of course we all know that apparently Cirque Live used to have his own way of designing and doing things right so I guess we're good for the day um, again the cable uh, I have managed to build is the 9 pin to 25 pins uh, serial cable you might just want to go through uh, 9 to 9 uh, whatever is your pick um, I used a female um, gender changer to male and then again another adapter in order to get connected to the PC uh, you can build both like I'm uh, willing to do. I'm gonna build uh, another one 9 to 9 so I could have both but that was um, interesting and uh, a very nice experiment. I like that. Um, I have enjoyed this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this as well as much as I did today with this little Z88 uh, communicating with the outside world. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be catching you soon uh, I guess with another um, uh, interface uh, repair review or something from that era from the past um, please um, uh, give us a thumbs up if you will consider subscribing and um, always uh, happy to hear from you um, down to the comment section or email or anything um, so again thank you so much for watching I'll be catching you soon bye